Right guys, Sparrow here on all you need to know about trebuchets, GMO trebuchets specifically, and how trebuchets work. I'm going to show you two types of trebuchets, a fixed axle trebuchet and a floating arm trebuchet. And we're going to make an expression chip uh, to release the projectiles exactly on time, every time. Now, let me just explain that a trebuchet works with leverage. It's a first class lever and instead of you lifting up something very very heavy like a two pound weight being able to lift up a ten pound weight we uh, are going to make something go really fast but in order to make something really fast you need to sacrifice you need to sacrifice energy for speed so it's actually like a lever that lifts something turned around. It's the opposite of trying to lift something heavy. If you were to think about it this way, um, a big ball of steel, a meter in the air, has more potential energy in it than a little ping pong ball, a meter in the air, right? But if we want to put all the energy that's in the big steel ball into the ping pong ball, then the ping pong ball will have to go at a much higher speed than the steel ball is going. Hopefully you understand. So what we are going to need is a counterweight first and a throwing arm. So I'll select a fridge for the counterweight. There it is. Lift that up into the air. Then I go to useful and explosive props and I select one of the long poles this one would do very nicely. Position the pole over the fridge like this. Doesn't have to be exact. Now make two small poles like these and access them to the tip of the arm over here. Okay. Now no collide. I'm using no collide multi. The two arms, the counterweight and the arm. Now make sure the um little two little arms are standing still. Make sure they're facing exactly downwards. Doesn't really matter that much position the fridge underneath it like that. Now weld these, weld the um, two little arms and the counterweight together and you can see that our counterweight, that's the thing that's going to store the energy, is hanging freely from the arm now. See that? Now I'll show you the reason for making the counterweight loose when I finish the trebuchet. Now just to um, make the weld stronger and make it throw further we're going to change the weight of the counterweight to about 11,000 and the two little poles as well so they can hold the weight and the arm we're going to make about 900. Change the weight of the little blocks to 50,000 so they can handle the weight that's on them. just shift E them into place and you can release nicely. I'm just going to lift this up so it doesn't um, rub itself all over the floor. There we go. So now I can pull this arm back and you'll see that it swings over quite nicely. Now notice how it bobs around like this and see the arm almost stand still. That's because we have loosened the counterweight over here so it can swing freely. If I were to weld the counterweight to the arm 
it would be swinging over and back and over which would cause the trebuchet to fall over so uh, it also it helps with the counterweight being able to fall directly downwards so it has the most speed if I were to show you um, it won't go as fast because it will go um, slow faster 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 slow but if the weight is loose it goes fast so just keep that in mind now the next thing that makes a trebuchet a trebuchet is a sling the sling is there to make the projectile go nearly seven times as fast it really does affect the distance that you throw at some people just put in a bucket their trebuchets suck you have to have a sling I'll show you what the sling does right now let's put this a bit higher so it throws better so I'm gonna put pull this down I can use winches but I'm not gonna attach any now Oops. you want the treb arm to stand at about that angle damn it um, you should actually put a bit of friction on these so it doesn't swing around like that but it doesn't really matter now I'm gonna have something to throw let's take a pumpkin there we go and uh, notice how big my sling is it's about uh, say if the arm was divided into five units we use one of the units for the little arm and then the sling would be about four units long so the sling comes to about there on the arm so we rope this I'll show you how to make the auto release mechanism in just a bit I'm just going to show you how it throws So I'll put a trail on this so you can see it. And guys, just remember that Heftons will make it go not so far. And because we have a counterweight of about 30,000, remember the two poles are included, then the best counterweight to projectile ratio is about 110 to 1 so we're going to make a projectile 100 see it's 100 now and I'm going to release the arm and then undo the rope as it gets to the right place you can see it throws that was a bit too much of an arc but otherwise it would have thrown really far I could have actually make the um, pumpkin a bit lighter 